peeps, Moobies and uh, Rory <laughs> here with another Filmic Friday slash Operation Fezcam update sort of thing. Um, I've come cut through the churchyard today uh, thinking it'd be quiet and it's really busy. It's market day and I completely forgot. <laughs> um, for, you, for you tourists and poetry lovers out there, let me just. Uh, so, right there is where uh, Lord Byron's buried, you know, if you're into that sort of thing. Anyway, we're always having a good sniff today. Yeah, just on our way to get the meds and things for the rest of the week. Um, I'm just making sure there's no public over here. And yeah, I thought I'd have a little uh, little update for you, let you know what, what, what the crack is, what stage you're at, and uh, you know, hopefully gain some support from you guys as well. So here we go. Fun fact, this is the first cam uh, building number, I want to say two, I think it was the second one. Um, it's all gone now, this was a big factory. Yeah, it's all gone now, this was a massive factory. We're going to put a studio in here, but alas, alas it was not meant to be. Um, it was pretty much condemned it would have fallen down anyway and then we didn't have the money to knock it down and do a new one so yeah but yeah as usual as with operation face cam now um it was bought by a housing developer um so that's always fun come on lad he's not used to uh this room so he's sniffing every other <laughs> every other brick so we can get a sniff. He's doing his job as a, an assistant dog. He's uh, figuring out the route in case I have a... Many unbearable hours later. Oh, yeah, decided to come back to the studio because uh, that was fun. I <laughs> it was like clown cars, man. We had, I had somebody walk behind me and obviously I don't like to film other people because I'd have to blow out the faces. Um, and then... You know, I'll stop for a second, let him go, and then uh, the dog was crying because I because I stood still for a bit, and then a load of blooming nursery school kids came around the corner, so obviously I couldn't film them for obvious reasons. And then by the time they'd gone and I'd kind of carried on walking, I was like nearly towards the pharmacy, so I decided, oh, you know what, screw it, come back to the office and do it. Uh, Nick's just left; he's gone to have a meeting with um, some film producers that we might be uh, doing some work on and training up some of our service users on so he sends his love he doesn't like appearing on the videos anyways you know so uh, that's usually down to me and if you hear lots of sighing in the background Rory's asleep now he's had his walk and he's um sort of got me home safely and everything he he can be rewarded with a nap he's a very lazy dog <laughs> he's just off camera here but yeah, um, Operation Fezcam is pretty much in the same state it was on the last video I posted. The building project, like I say, seems to have stalled a bit. Um, you know, we all agree and feel that we're getting messed about um, a little bit. So we have decided to, although we'll do what's required for the building and if we still have it, then yay. We're also going to be concentrating on, on building up our client base because we did have quite a decent client base before uh, and then we took sort of two, well, it turned into three years. It was supposed to be a year and a half and it turned into three years off to do this building and um, it's still not happening and everything, we should have been moving in by now. Um, and then the more it goes along, the more it gets added to the budget as always and the more we feel like the partners we're working with are trying to buy it themselves and then have us in as tenants rather than us owning the building, which is the entire point. Because if we have to pay rent, then that's money we could be spending on our service users and that wasn't the deal. So it's it's a whole thing. So we either get that building or we don't. If we don't, that's fine. We'll get another building. It's, you know, there are other warehouses and, and abandoned buildings out there. It's just this... This has gone so far that and we've put so much time and effort into it that it's you know we really want to see this through to the end you know and see the the 
the project and the vision come to fruition. On the charity side of things, um, as you know, we're sponsored by Arc Cinemas. Um, in Nottingham, they have one in Hutnell and one in Borwell, and but they're, an, they're a national chain of cinemas, so um, they'll be doing outdoor cinema events wherever we end up, and they'll be doing work to improve our green room, give us a screening room, that kind of a thing, all sponsored by them. Probably looking at work experience for service users if that's that's where they want to want to be in, you know, all that kind of stuff. So brilliant. Thank you to everyone down at Arc Cinemas for bearing with us. You're awesome. Um, we also can't deliver everything we want to deliver unless we have charity partners. So as you know, we are already have a good relationship with Base 51 in Nottingham. Uh, it's mainly a, a kids mental health um, slash youth club slash kids LGBTQ plus kind of uh, situation. Um, so we're helping them out with with stuff that we know about and they're helping us out with stuff they know about and it's, it's a whole thing. So brilliant to base 51, um, love those guys. And we've started talks with a Framework in Nottingham um, who, they have loads of arms. I mean, they look after the homeless population in Nottingham. Um, they look after some of the more poorer and vulnerable families in the area. And they look after people like me and people like the Team Reflector who've got mental health. So they've actually, as part of my recovery process, they've actually come to my personal house and, and my, my, part of my long-term being on the drugs, my knees are knackered now. I can barely walk around. So um, they put in, uh, you know, grab rails in various places in the house. And we didn't actually have a banister at our stairs like that. We're in an old cottage and it's like they're really steep. And I was like crawling up on our hands and knees and coming down them on my bum, you know, like a kid. And they've put some um, uh, banisters in so I, to help me get around a bit better. So big up to the framework, but uh, I've just been speaking to one of their managers today and hopefully uh, we'll have a good conversation with them. And obviously we can signpost to them and then they can use our oils to provide training and stuff like that. For the very early stages, so I don't want to say too much, but yeah, it's, it's all it's going well on that front. And seeing as the building um, is keep stalling and things keep roadblocks keep getting put put up, um, half the team now I've decided just to pivot and we're, they're going to work on building up the client base, like I said before. So uh, there's a few projects on the go. There's a film coming up. Um, we are also this is where you guys come in. We're also going to start a talent agency, um, mostly for, you know, actors and crew with mental health, obviously, but I think we'll probably open it up to uh, non-diagnosed peeps as well, as long as they meet certain criteria and things. And of course, that will involve our friends in the industry, you know, casting agents and, and, and talent and producers, directors and things like that. Um, hopefully they pay us a, a monthly fee to be on our books and then we um, in return provide them with you know training and resources to help them take on someone with a severe mental health diagnosis uh, or whatever it is the client has you know and work with them to provide a better and safer and, and a more productive work environment for people with a diagnosis as uh, Nick and I have been doing on the jobs that we've done in film industry. You know, it's, it's not that hard, but people don't realize it happens, you know? Um, and then of course the service users, I mean, technically on paper, there'd be a membership thing, but we we pay that as part of our, you know, philanthropy. So we, we'd be subsidizing them and helping them get work. So, so of course, if you are a, a potential service user, an actor or, or a, a cameraman or a writer, uh, you know, a, a tradesperson who wants to build and paint sets and that kind of a thing, uh, you've got a mental health diagnosis, please get in touch. Um, all the stuff is in the description below and we will obviously signpost you and, and let you know once all that part of it is up and running. And of course, if you are a corporate entity or, or a filmmaking um, entity where and you want to, you know, improve your, your, your disability, you know, criteria and you want to take on a person who maybe has more specific needs rather than just you know rather than just being able-bodied or able-minded then please do let us know again and we can have a chat an initial chat and figure out how we can work together and you know you get the idea early stages 
things are going on in the background I can't sort talk about publicly yet, but you get the point. It's going to be massive. Or at least if the feedback we've had for the last few years from people who are chomping at the bit for us to finally do this, then it will be massive. Um, take a little while to build up, but you know. And yeah, it's all looking pretty positive, I think. Um, I'm going to wrap this up quite early now because I've got to go down into the city and pick my kid up. They've, they've gone on a trip with Base 51 uh, to go down to London and meet some MPs and things. Um, talk about, you know, policies that might help the kind of clientele that Base 51 sometimes get. And um, then we've got to prep for the Pride March. It's Nottingham Pride tomorrow as I record this. And as you guys know from seeing any of my vlogs, in the past, um, we've been marching in that every year since like 99, 2000, something like that. So we've got all that going. We're even making our own t-shirts um, this year. So hopefully they work, but uh, if not, we've got some stuff from QWERTY coming on. Oh, and QWERTY, I doubt you'll be watching this right now, but QWERTY, we, we want you to sponsor our channel because we all wear QWERTY t-shirts. I'm wearing one now, you know, it's... Uh, Every single member of staff thinks Quirt is amazing and we've been wearing your, your stuff for ages, so call me. But until the next one, I've been Moobit, he's been Rory, and we'll see you at the next update. ta -ra. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Wash your f***ing hands! I like to move it, move it. Bit, 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 bit.